Hello everyone, good day to you. How are you doing? Welcome to our class, Speaking English. So the code is 31201. And um, this is our first meeting online. So I hope that you'll bear with us. And um, make sure that you are listening well because um, this will be the first lesson and we need to know our objective first before we start okay so by the way my name is teacher Charlu Lagdamin Porio I will be your subject teacher and I hope that um, we'll get along although this is just online but I'm looking forward for your learning please cooperate okay so um, we'll begin now um, our first lesson will be about self-introduction. So you have noticed earlier that I, I said what my name is, right? So that is basically an introduction, okay? And I will give you an example of how to introduce yourself. Okay, start. I am Charilu Lagdamen Porio. My nickname is Chacha. I am from Philippines. My profession is teacher. Okay, so that's it. That is the very basic form of self-introduction. And today, we are not just uh, going to learn about introducing yourself. We'll also learn how to introduce other people. So in this lesson, you will learn how to introduce yourself, as I said earlier, and another person or other people using basic personal information. But um, we need to understand first those three important words that we are going to use always in this lesson. First, the word introduce. Again, the word is introduce what does it mean okay let's build our vocabulary introduce means make known again introduce means make known for example you don't know me right at first you don't know me yet so i introduce myself to you or i make myself known to you from the word know if i introduce myself then you already know me Okay, did you get it? I hope you do. Okay, the next word is oneself. Okay, again, the word is oneself. What does it mean? It means own self. Okay, again, it means own self. Okay, for example, introduce yourself. So you are going to introduce your own self. Okay, that's it next word, the third last word okay others what does it mean others okay others mean different person different people it's not me but others okay so that's for our vocabulary building first we have the word introduce which means make known Okay, the second one is oneself, meaning own self. And the last word is others. It means different people or other people. Okay. Next, I'm going to give you an example of those three words. Okay. Um, first, um, we will have information. Again, information what does it mean um, in my example earlier I talked about my name my nickname my um, country and the last one was my profession okay so that's for me because uh, I'm already a professional but you as a student you can make other information Okay, or use other information to introduce yourself. Okay, 
So the first one is name. Example. Okay, forget about me being your teacher. Okay, let's say I am Kimberly Brown. Okay, so now I am Kimberly Brown. Okay, so that's my name. Um, my nickname is Kim. My birthday is February 11, 2004. Age, 16. Ambition, tour guide. So in your case, you're going to use ambition because you're still a student. Okay, ambition means um, that is your um, future plan or what do you want to be after your graduation on college or from the university. Okay, so Kimberly, I want to be a tour guide someday. Okay, so again, let me introduce myself as Kimberly Brown. Hello everyone, I am Kimberly Brown. My nickname is Kim. My birthday is on February 11, 2004. I am 16 years old and my ambition is to be a tour guide. Okay, now next example. For example, okay, I have here my friend. Okay, and you don't know my friend. So I am going to introduce another person to you. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so here I have here my imaginary friend. Hello everyone, this is Jackson Morales. His nickname is Jack. His birthday is on April 28, 2003. He is now 17 years old. When he grows up, he wants to be a lawyer. Okay, again, I will introduce other person to you hi everyone he is my friend and jackson his nickname is jack or you can call him. his birthday is on april 28 2003 he is now 17 years old and when he grows up he wants to be a lawyer okay so now um you have an idea already of how to introduce yourself and introduce other person that's easy right very easy for you okay let's proceed so um part of the basic information of yourself and of other person again is name your nickname or how do you want it to be called or how people call you and then your birthday you can um also uh, talk about your parents or their jobs what are they doing and then um, your age of course and your ambition you can also talk about your hobbies what do you do in your free time okay so you can add other basic information and of course for your birthday um, make sure they memorized the 12 uh, 12 months of the year in English so uh, what is the fourth month of the year? What is it? January, February, March, April. Okay, so we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, make sure that you already memorize that. Okay, so um, we already talked about... Um, the profession like my profession I am a teacher right and then for you what is your ambition what do you want to be in the future what do you want to do okay so we have here examples of occupations um for now maybe um most of you already have that in mind but some students I think uh, they're not yet thinking about that or maybe they have uh, something in mind already but it can change okay as time goes by so we have here examples of occupations in English so example in the, the field of medicine we have surgeon nurse doctor okay we also have pharmacist so um, in the office we have a secretary we have um, a businessman okay um, what else uh, for example in a hotel we have a bellboy 
okay or a bellhop and um, outside we can see construction workers and then um, in restaurants we have waiter or a waitress if it's a girl waiter if it's a boy a bartender a chef and um, what else okay how about occupations um, involving sky the air we have um, a pilot we have cabin crew air hostess okay so that's it so we you have a lot of um, occupations to choose from so it's up to you what you want to do in the future so you have to think about that okay so that is part of the um, uh, basic personal information sometimes your hobbies are connected to your ambition for example your hobby is painting drawing or sketching so in the future you can become an artist okay or a painter so that's it um, okay this time I'm going to uh, show you a video of a self introduction okay Um, hello? Hi. My name is Molly. What's your name? I'm Peter. My friends call me Pete. My friends call me Molly. <laughs> Hi, Pete. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Are you a student here? Yes, I am. My class is at 9 o'clock with Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor? She's my teacher. You're in my class. Great. Where is our class? Uh, it's over there. Hi, I'm Peter. Peter Crump. I'm in your class. Hi, Peter. Nice to meet you. Hello, what's your name? I'm Molly. I'm in your class, too. Hello, Holly. Um, is that H-O-L-L-Y? No, it's Molly. M-O-L-L-Y. M-O-L-L-Y. Molly. Hmm. What's your last name, Molly? Lynn. L-I-N. Peter Crum and Molly Lynn. Oh, uh, wait. Excuse me. Are you Miss Taylor? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm Mrs. Smith. Miss Taylor is in room 203, over there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, Miss Taylor? Yes. I'm Molly Lynn. Hi, Molly. Nice to meet you. Oh, here you are. Welcome, Molly. Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter. Peter Crumb. Ah, there you are. Welcome, Peter. Okay, let's begin class. Okay, there you have it. A very short clip of self-introduction uh, between two people, Peter and Molly. Okay, can you do that with your friend, with your siblings, or anyone at home? Okay, we'll find it later. So here, um, this is a paragraph form of writing self-introduction. Okay, first we have here intro introducing oneself. Okay, you can see the underlined words here. First the name, the nickname, um, the birth date, the age, and the ambition. Okay, I will just read it for you. I am Kimberly Brown. My friends call me Kim. I was born on the 11th day of February 2004. I am 16 years old. I want to be a tour guide someday. Next one is introducing others. Okay. He is Jackson Morales. You can call him Jack. He was born on the 28th of April 2003. He is 17 years old. 
he wants to be a lawyer someday. Okay, so let's now go to grammar lesson. We will talk about the pronoun usage. Okay, in our examples, we have two people there. First one is Kimberly. The second one is um, Jackson. Okay, Kimberly is a what? is the gender what is the sex of um, Kimberly she is a girl she is female how about Jackson Jackson is a boy he is male okay so if the person you are introducing is a boy you are going to say he okay let's go back to that slide again okay as you can see he he is Jackson Morales. And then, um, you see the pronoun he. Okay, another pronoun is him. Okay, because Jackson is a boy. Okay, how many pronouns do we see here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five, four he's and one him. Okay, let's go back to Kimberly Brown. Kimberly Brown is... A girl okay and but in this case she she's introducing herself so we did not um, use the word she her okay for example for example I am Jackson Morales I am a boy so I'm going to introduce to you my friend who is a girl okay okay let's take this as an example hello I am Jackson this is my friend Kimberly Brown. Her nickname is Kim. She was born on the 11th day of February 2004. She is 16 years old and she wants to be a tour guide someday. Okay, did you notice what pronoun I used? Of course, I used the word she. And what else? Yes, that, that's uh, the pronoun I used, she. She is Kimberly Brown. She wants to be a tour guide someday. She is um, 16 years old. Her nickname is Kim, okay? So we have the pronoun she and her. Very easy, okay? So next one is articles. Again, articles. So we have here two articles to talk about. First, A or A. The second one is N, spelled as A-N. Okay, now, the first article, A or A. When do we use this? How to use the article A? Okay, A or A is used when the following word begins with a consonant sound what is a consonant we have b c d f g h j k l m n p q r s t v w x y z okay remember that do you know what pro uh, what consonants are you should know okay you should know okay then Remember, it is sound, consonant sound, a word that begins or starts with a consonant sound, not word, not a consonant word, but sound. I will tell you later on, okay? That is for the article A, okay? Next one is the article N. N. When do we use this? We use this when the following word begins with a vowel sound again a vowel sound what is a vowel we have a e e o and u okay so those are the vowels and vowel sounds okay so you can see here in our first example for a okay i want to be a tour guide because um the word after the article a is tour tour starts with letter t the sound is t 
okay so you can um, you can say that a tour guide you cannot use an okay next example for the word uh, for the article n he wants to be an astronaut okay we have the article n and the word astronaut the sound of the word astronaut is a uh, first sound a uh, astronaut okay so now let's go further uh, we have here table a table with two um, columns the first column is for a or a and the second column is for an okay. you can see under the article a we have a house a house first uh, letter is H that is consonant and the sound is also consonant house a house but for our article n it starts with letter h also same with house but why do we use the article n okay it's because the sound is a uh, our our okay it's not hour so it is an hour same with a xylophone a xylophone next an x-ray x-ray starts with a consonant um, letter x but if you read the word it is x-ray a e, vowel sound a e. that's why we use the article n x-ray okay you understand okay next one a unique unique U, it's like Y, a unique. That's why we use the article A. And um, for N, an umbrella, same letter U, a consonant letter. Oh, no, no, a vowel, a vowel. Okay, but um, the sound is also a vowel. That's why an umbrella, an umbrella, a unique. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay, now we will have um two activities for this lesson okay the first one is you have to fill in this box with the information of your friend okay so again I will read the uh, instruction fill out the boxes below with your personal information uh, the first box and then the second box uh, the information of your partner you ask him or her okay and then the second one is second activity introduce yourself and your classmate using the information gathered so the information you gathered from the first activity will be used for your second activity okay um, this is a pattern so you have to write it in a paragraph form okay first one is about yourself the second one is about your um, partner Okay, remember, if your partner is a boy, use the pronoun he. Okay, the his and him. If your partner is a girl, you have to use she and her in your paragraph. Okay. So, um, make sure, class, that uh, you have um, already logged in the Google Classroom. So this is our um, Google class, our classroom on the Google. And then um, that is our code. So if you still have friends who are not able to log in here, please tell them. So we have the code D7DYP4A. Okay, and you join the class. You join our class. Okay, the um, descriptive title of this class is Speaking English. And the code is 31201 and then um, here is um, the code you need this to enter my class our class and then this class is only for 4 slash 1 okay do you understand um, I'm going to post the announcements here on our um, announcement board 
so from time to time you will be informed you'll um, you will have to check on this if you have assignments or tasks then for our activity one okay you have to um, submit it okay to me in this class and then for the activity two this one uh, for our activity two by the way you have to um, write write down the information your self introduction and then um, please record also a video of how you introduce yourself okay record a video of how you introduce yourself and if your partner is um, just beside you you can also record how you are introducing that person okay I'm going to check on that So if you have any question, you can just message me on our Gmail. Please feel free to ask if you have um, some clarifications. And then, once again, this is our class. And um, I, will, I will make some scheduled announcements. And then if um, you already posted your assignments your activities if i have time i will really respond to you one by one if that's possible okay so that would be all for today i hope um you are learning okay so let's try to have a recap of our um lesson By the way, you can call me teacher Cha Cha. Okay. So we have um, first our vocabulary building. We have um, three words uh, learned today introduce oneself and others. Okay. And I have given you an example of basic personal information. So you have the name, nickname, birth date, age, and ambition. Okay, and you can also add some of your hobbies, um, some information about your family. Okay. And then these are part of the basic personal information, your birth date, and your ambition. And um, you can um, view this video from time to time. Okay, this is uploaded in our Google in our Google Classroom. So, if you have some um, questions or you've forgotten something, you can just check it out. Okay. And please practice speaking. Please practice speaking at home. Remember, you are going to make uh, a video of self introduction and introducing other people for your activity too. Okay, so you please practice. Okay, introducing oneself that is in writing this is like for your um, activity one and this is introducing others part also of your activity one okay for our grammar we talked about pronoun usage specifically boy girl and then articles a and n Example. Okay. And this is our activity. Please don't forget. So again, this is Teacher Chacha. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you will really study well. Okay, so that you will have good output for your activities and you will have good grades. And um please take care so i hope that you're doing just fine okay again study well and thank you for listening